pearl growing strategy. And what this basically is, growing a pearl, a pearl builds on itself and builds on itself. So that's what you want to do. Once you find a useful source, you want to build on it. So you do some searches. Maybe you find a good book. Maybe you find the perfect article. Whatever it is that you found that is looking like, hey, this is going to be really appropriate. This is really good for my research. Then you want to examine that for new ideas. Find additional keywords, maybe ones you hadn't come up with yet. Subject headings. I mentioned subject headings earlier. We'll talk about them searching the catalog. Maybe there's a subject heading you hadn't thought of. Someone's name. Anything like that. Something that's new you hadn't thought of already. Look for their reference lists and their citations. Who did they use when they were doing the research? Let their research help you. Look at their reference list and see what sources they used when they were producing their article or their book, whatever it is. And then once you find those additional sources, you can explore them for more leads. Find something great and get out of it what you can. And the thing about this is you have to look at your sources as you go along. A lot of times students will get a book or a, an article. I'll see it. I see it all the time. And then they just stick it in their backpack. You're like, I'm going to put this in my pile of research, and then when it comes time to write the paper, I'll pull all this out and I'll take a look at it. Well, no, you want to start looking at it right away because a lot of a lot of the information that's in there can help you find more good sources. So you want to examine, like I said, look at their reference list. Maybe they cite some excellent sources that you want to go find. And explore those for more leads. And so on and so on and so on. It's, it's growing on itself and building. And that, that just basically, you can keep doing this. You don't have to keep doing this um, it, for very long, but it is a good place to start building up your sources. Uh, ideally, if you were, say, going to publish a book or publish an article in a journal um, and you were wanted to make sure you'd covered all of your bases that you weren't writing something or coming up with an idea that had been done you would probably keep doing this pearl growing until you were finding sources that were basically citing back to sources you'd already seen so it could be a pretty elaborate process here at this level we're just using it to find more good sources so so you find a good article use that to get you some more information maybe some more sources maybe you find those sources and they lead you to more sources you can do that one or two times and you usually will have enough to do what you need to do but it's uh, but it's an ongoing process so we've got some strategies and some ways to get started on research.